What's up, y'all? Uh, back at the shop again. We got the 08 Duramax back up on the lift. It's throwing a code for cylinder three and cylinder eight glow plugs are bad. Um, so we got glow plugs here. Got to get them replaced. And I figured, you know, it's pretty simple, but some people may not know, you know, how to how to change them or whatnot. And I'm having to shoot this on my phone because, like a dummy, I forgot the camera at home. So this is going to be a little weird, and I hope y'all can hear me because uh, of this case, but I'll try to show y'all how to change them. All right, so here they are. Here's the two new ones, and it's the part number 1120, which I guess y'all probably could have seen that before I touched it. So uh, I've already got, I got to do cylinder three is on one side and cylinder eight's on the other, which of course, but on the passenger side, this, let's see if you can get it here. You see right here where I've already got it pulled out? That's cylinder three. Cylinder one, three, all the way down like that. All right, as y'all can see, I already took out the old one. Um, what you're gonna to wanna to do is it takes, a, for some reason, the, the original ones, this little nut right here that holds the wire on, which is, get up in here where you see this wire. See, just like those right there. You got to take an eight millimeter. Um, see if I don't show up, maybe. Well, where's it at? There it is. Maybe that's showing up. Anyway, eight millimeter. And then this main part right here that you actually screw it in with, well, if it'll stay there, takes a 12 millimeter. So all you really do, it's hard to film with a phone. That's what I get for not bringing the camera. You just get it started with your hand, which that's hard to see. I know y'all can't see it. Make sure your threads ain't crossed. You see that shiny thing right there is it. Maybe this will be a little bit better of an angle. There we go. Get it tightened down. Remember, don't over tighten it. Yeah. Alright, and the next thing you're going to do is you're just going to slide your wire over it. Take your little tiny nut here. And start to make sure you do not use an impact on these things because you will break them. And you take your little for some reason these right here are 9 30 seconds which is weird weird size maybe y'all can see that there we go which these are auto lights you know different names will have different sizes i'm sure and then literally all you do is do that and you just tighten it down i'm gonna try to hold the phone and do this at the same time because i gotta hold that wire still you know I didn't show taking out the inner fender but you've got these small little seven millimeter screws all the way around it these right here you got one 10 millimeter bolt and one of those little clips and that's what holds it in and that's how you replace them and on the other side which will be cylinder eight glow plug is on the very back let me see if I can show y'all here it's right down in there that that wire right there Maybe y'all can see that right uh, there. So you gotta get it replaced, or I do, but in other words, that's how you replace one. Uh, this one through two because the computer actually went bad. So he had to put a new computer in this thing um, and that burned up those glow plugs. So yeah, I'm gonna get that other, other one put in, finished up and get this one up and we'll see y'all here in a second. And just to make sure that I've made it clear, this is an 07, no 08. Chevy 2500 with a 6.6 Duramax. Um, this is a LMM engine. I'd say they're probably all the same or at least really similar, but that way just in case. All right, guys. Well, I hope y'all got some use out of that. Maybe that'll help some people who's trying to figure out, you know, exactly how to change a glow plug on a on a Duramax. Nothing, nothing major. So, all right. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate y'all watching. We're up to like six. Six, almost six seven or not six almost 970 subscribers so we're almost a thousand 
All right. Well, I appreciate it. And like always, until next time, y'all have a good one.